Yeah, what's going on, guys? This is Justin with Johnson Vlogs, and well, tonight I am working on the uh, O2 CR250 two stroke. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the build. Uh, I've decided that I'm not gonna be just sear coating or anything like that, or powder coating because, well, I think I'm gonna probably get it back together, ride it a little bit, take it to the track a few times. I'm probably gonna sell it because I'm looking into wanting to get a newer four stroke. KX254 stroke like Blake's. Um, I just really enjoy riding the four stroke more than the two stroke. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna clean up the frame and everything, get it looking good. You know, just what I can do here at the house. Um, but anyway, to talk about this. So uh, I just got the flywheel off. Didn't shoot a video of that because I had to do some stuff that you know i had to do some beating on it and stuff because somebody had already taken this flywheel off before me as you can tell it's extremely beat up uh this was not by me uh so let me tell you why i had to do that i had ordered the uh clip here to remove the flywheel it threads in like so from tusk um so i ordered that to do but these threads on the inside would not allow it it was they're just completely screwed up from whoever took it off the last time so anyway got it off had to do some prying and beating stuff that you shouldn't do but crankshaft is still good on this one so you know that's not a bad deal uh i'm replacing it all anyway but uh yeah so I might uh, rebuild this one and sell it on eBay or something, you know. Uh, let's just chain these threads just to make sure they were good. But, uh, yeah, so that's where we're at now. So I'll go ahead and pull this off and go ahead and split it. Next, I'm going to be uh, removing these two bolts right here. This one and this one. It's uh, 10 millimeter, I do believe. Uh, let's see. Yep. Okay, so 10, and all right guys, so I took out those two bolts right there and Everything looks all right, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that's out. Okay, so uh, there is two more eight millimeter bolts for one right here and one right here. I'm gonna remove those because I'm not, I mean, I'm pretty sure they get to the other side, but I don't know 100%, not 100% sure, but, uh, yeah, we're going to take them out anyway, just in case. Uh, there's some 8mm bolts on the other side of the motor, but I don't, I feel like those don't go through the case. Uh, I feel like they are, uh, just holding on some guards that go to the transmission. Uh, obviously I could be wrong. Uh. But for now, I'm not going to take them out. I'm start trying to split the case and see what happens. And I mean, if it obviously if it resists, then I'll uh, remove them. I'm going to show those bolts to you in just a second. Yeah, that definitely went through. Um, so there's one more. So I just put the uh, the new crankshaft in the freezer. Uh, if you don't know what that does, it uh, like helps shrink the metal a little bit. Uh, it helps for an easier install. Uh, on what I've read and you know looked up, obviously, that like I've said before, this is my first time ever pulling a motor down like this. You know, I've only done like casual maintenance stuff and that type of stuff. So you know, this is all new to me. Um, but yeah, I'm just showing you, you know, how you could do this yourself. <clears throat> All right, guys.
got those two out. And uh, so over here, these are the bolts I'm talking about. I feel like they're just holding on a guard here. This doesn't, this one obviously does not go all the way through. So I'm gonna assume the same for those. And I know this one does not. So if it does have resistance, it's gonna be these two. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna check one more time around the whole motor. Make sure there's no other bolts. Everything seems good to me. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this uh, cooler on. Let's figure it out. All right, so we got three nuts on each. Um, let's take a look at this. Uh, so I had a little tusk C clamp in the river that I that I ordered. Um, I think it's to help. Like it actually pulls the flywheel off. That's what, that I was showing you the other one. Came with this. I ordered the off-brand puller, but. Uh, yeah, so this came with this, and uh, you can actually figure out how to, what you know, what that sequence for right there. But uh, it also shows you how to remove two. So, uh, well, it doesn't show what I'm looking for, but uh, so yeah, it comes with two nuts. So I'm going to assume that so this is what i'm going to do uh could be wrong we'll figure it out uh i'm going to take this nut and i'm going to thread it on like so I'm going to back it on up quite a bit of ways because i'm going to thread one in here and i want it to get i want it to go all the way down so with this one right here, uh, in particular, you, I'm using the uh, the smaller ones. It comes with three small ones and three big ones. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure out where I want all my things to line up and get this on there. Like so, I guess I'm gonna do one here, one here, one here. All right guys, so I got the uh, puller on there. Um, so when you're putting this on, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're lining up, you know, dead center all the way around. Um, so when I, what I did is I threaded in these three uh, around, you know, where I could and where I thought it would have been best. Um, threaded down the nut on the bottom of all of them to the case. And uh, did it, tighten it just a, just a hair, not a whole lot. And then I uh, backed out, back down this one on the bottom all the way around and then put the ones on the top so it holds it completely in place so uh if you have a rubber hammer which you should when you're doing this you should take it and hit right here a few times to make sure that this isn't seized up i do not have a rubber hammer so i'm gonna take a uh regular hammer and uh i'll find a beaten block uh it's like a dead block to tap it a few times just to make sure it's not seized up. Give it a few taps. Guys, yeah, so I've cranked down on a little bit, not too much. And uh, after you crank down on it a little bit, it does creak and stuff like that. But you're going to want to go around the whole motor and make sure everything's coming off evenly. So as you can see, uh, there's a gap. I like that. And you just want to check it all the way around the motor. I've already done mine, but you want to make sure that your gap's staying the same. You know, just in case there is a bolt that you just missed or something like that. So, uh, yeah, mine's coming off perfectly. I took a rag and a hammer and I tapped right here. This is just goes to the uh, the bolt for the the motor mount. It goes to the frame, so it's really not that big a deal. But, yeah, you don't want to bust it, obviously. So, uh, yeah, just take a rag or a a dead block or something or a rubber hammer and hit it right there and uh you can probably even tap all the way around if you want it to but you know i didn't and this is coming apart pretty good so uh yeah i'm gonna keep at it so that really wasn't too bad uh got it got it off so uh, one other thing I'd like to 
just say about when you're taking it off is to be sure that uh you're keeping an eye on washers and stuff like that like when i took my when i got this off i had a washer sitting right here stuck here this one actually stayed on so it's right there so i just took the one off and put it back on the transmission because i don't want to lose it and i don't want to forget where it actually goes so uh yeah uh it actually doesn't look too bad in there it's pretty clean uh well, actually, let me show you something I just seen. Uh, the bottom here is pretty scored. Well, I don't know what that could be from, but I haven't had a chance to look at the bottom of this crank case here. So I don't really see. It must have had something get into the motor, I would assume, to do that. So I know this probably isn't recommended. Well, obviously it's not recommended. But I'm going to use the same gaskets. <laughs> I don't feel like ordering them. Uh, not that I, I'm cheap or anything like that. I just don't feel like waiting. I should have already ordered them if I was going to do it, and I hadn't. So, uh <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to use this one. It doesn't look bad at all, actually. I know somebody's messed with this engine before because uh, of how bad the flywheel looked. And this is a hot rod shaft in here. So now I'm going to see if I can't uh, push it the rest of the way out. So... Same thing I did on the other side. I did it over here. Uh, and the crankshaft is out. It's finally out. So uh, I guess tomorrow I'll be trying to push in the other one. I got the other one in the freezer, like I said. So I figured I would leave it in there for at least a good, you know, 24 hours or so tomorrow. So tomorrow, as soon as I get home from work, I'll try um, pushing this thing in. Um, I actually did get... Uh, all the old seals for the whole motor. So, uh, yeah, I'll replace them, obviously, while I got everything apart. Uh, probably here in just a minute, maybe. Uh, but, yeah, dude, I'm super happy I got this out. Uh, I've been wanting to get this bike running and take it to the track at least a time or two before I sell it. Um, I, I can't really usually keep on to stuff long. I like to buy and sell so uh well i like to buy so obviously i have to sell but uh yeah so um if you don't know this is why i was changing the crankshaft to begin with the bearing is going out in the bottom of the crankshaft um uh, this bearing down here i know that i could probably change out the bearing somehow i haven't ever watched a video on that or nothing like that but uh yeah, I'm sure that could be changed out somehow. So maybe one day I'll... Well, I'd read up that hot rods, uh, which is what this one has, the hot rods. I read that they're not as good as OEM and that they don't last as long and all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? Since it does have hot rods in it, I'll go ahead and just order another one. Uh, whole crank and everything. And I uh, found it for 77 bucks on eBay. It's in near mint condition, so... Uh, yeah, it's OEM, so I was like, that'd probably be the better route. But uh, maybe one day I'll rebuild this and sell it on eBay or something. I don't know. I doubt I'll ever come across a, another CR250 like this one. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back for the next one.